Boston Dynamics' spot already does a lot of cool things, but now it's ready for its best trick yet. Letting people like you and me take it for a walk, all without leaving the house. This experience is powered by Formant, a company that helps humans manage robots remotely. So I'm going to be taking Spot for a walk around San Francisco using my laptop and I don't have to leave the living room. You can also apply for the chance to take Spot for a walk. All you need to do is go to Formant's website and fill out a questionnaire. This is Jeff Linnell, CEO of Formant, who's going to help me walk Spot in real time. Spot's fantastic because um, it's the first robot that can reliably navigate the world in, in a non-structured environment. So it can go up and down curves, it can go over stumps, it can go through a forest. And there isn't another robot that I can think of that has that, uh, that mobility. And so it's the first robot that you can practically test um, uh, uh, we can test our software in any number of environments. We'll be on a Zoom call at the same time as I'm controlling the robot so he and the team can walk me through the process. On my screen, I can see exactly what Spot sees from its cameras. I have a control panel on the right-hand side that lets me enter modes like striking a pose or going up and down stairs and I have a PlayStation controller to actually walk the dog, although you can also do it with a keyboard and mouse. So I start with a simple downward dog move to warm things up. You can use those two joysticks and they do different things. The stick on the left, if you go left and right, will look left and right. You do downward facing dog if you use the stick on the right. Forward, let's see. Oh yeah, there's my downward dog. Wow, okay. Oh, this is just like playing a video game, right? We have our first con human contact. Oh, and a wave. Hi. So how long generally have you found it takes people to sort of become proficient in controlling remotely? You know, it's only been, um, it really is 30, 40 seconds. It's more about understanding how fast the dog moves and how fast mm -hmm. the left and right goes. Otherwise, um, it's pretty intuitive. Yeah, I think that's the biggest learning curve for me right now is working out the threshold of how much I need to push the stick compared to how much that's moving spot. I'm being very gentle and tentative with this. You're being very nice, yes. Okay, good, yeah. No bolting, no running off. Spot is still on a leash, sort of. Virtual leash. <laughs> Virtual leash, exactly. So if I wanted to see behind spot, is there a view so I could sort of work out, is there a camera on the rear of Spot? So the Spot's actually got um, five cameras um, uh, on, and you can see left and right, you can see behind, and you can see in front, uh, mm -hmm. a lot of sensing. Um, so you'd have to configure that. We, right now we've set it up to show you the GPS and the, the third party point of view. And also it's interesting because I'm not quite sure of Spot's dimensions. So I need to kind of be extra careful, especially in a slightly tighter space like this one. And I definitely don't want to be going off into the rocks on the side of the bridge. But it's good that I can see the capture view, so at least I have an idea of whereabouts it is. You know, it's hard. Spot does a tremendous job of not hitting things on its own. And so it does most of the work. You could, it won't let you walk into the rocks. <laughs> Hi, people. And there's a little a little bridge over that. Yep, let's go for it. <gasps> this bridge is small. Let's go. Uh, so if you just go for it, Spot will do all the work and, and thread the needle here. Even though I know Spot will do it, I'm still very cautious. Like, it's still that disconnect in my brain going, be really careful going over that don't walk into the wall. <laughs> We're feeling brave, we can we can try our first staircase. Really? Do you trust me to take a staircase with Spot? I don't trust me. <laughs> I trust you and I trust Spot. Um, okay, so there is a stairs mode that I've noticed. So should I walk a little closer and then tap stairs? Just go into stairs mode uh, right now. Just line up and, and, and go for it. Oh, it's doing it. It's doing it, I can see. Oh, whoa. 
Oh my goodness. I walked into the pagoda. What the heck? <laughs> Maybe pose for these guys. All right, I'll do a little pose. I'll do a little side to side. Hello. That's my, that's my wave. Well, I think this is sort of the, um, the, the interesting thing is, is taking the cognitive load off of the operator. Like you, mm -hmm. you can actually now get somewhere in the world by just saying where you need to go and uh, letting the machine do all the heavy lifting. Yeah, that's what I love about it. I don't, I, I have to think about it, but not too much. So I don't need to worry about how it's working. Somehow going down is scarier than going up. It is scary because you can't see the, the stairs under your feet as much, <gasps> but it's doing it. Yeah, spot. Yeah, go right. spot. Hello, random walker. Hi, out comes the phone, out comes the phone. Taking a bow. Hello. Nice to meet you. She asked if we have treats for it. No, but I'll take treats, definitely. But this is wild. Like, this is amazing that I can do this. And I'm sitting in my living room. Wow. <laughs> so how many people so far have piloted Spot like I'm doing right now in terms of general public? Oh, you're the, you're the first, actually. I'm the first? Yes. I can't believe you trusted me to, do the, to be the test pilot. This is great. I wouldn't have trusted me, but thank you. I am so appreciative. <laughs> oh, okay. I see a low battery alert that's just popped up. Uh-oh. You're all right. You've got another 34%. But this is actually really helpful. Like I love having you guys on the line so I can hear your feedback. You can kind of give me guidance and also having Dakota there as like the actual eyes and ears on the ground. Oh, we got some people. Hi. Well, this is a stalemate now. They're waiting for me to move, <laughs> but I'm waiting for them to move. There's a ball. Oh, 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 fetch spot. Oh, okay, all right. Now let's see if I pose. It's right in front of me. So if I do down a dog and I see the, yes, I can see the tennis ball, except I can't pick it up, but that's okay. Hello. They can't hear me, but I can see them. Here, let's do a pose. I love it. They're kind of like, they're mirror are they mirroring my movements too? They are, yeah. All right, I'm gonna yeah. sit. Go. Good dog, yay. You know, I've, I've been around Spot for a very long time and I'm, I'm desensitized to it, but I can remember seeing it walk down a street in Palo Alto for the first time. And it was just, wow, this is starting to happen. This is the future. It's actually on a sidewalk. It's not in a laboratory. Um, and there was an aha moment. Um, and so I want to see what are people's reactions when they, when they encounter that for the first time. Because I think we're all about to in the next decade. But people are very respectful. Like they're giving me some space. Well, they're giving spots some space. They don't know I'm controlling it. I think there's a, there's a moment uh, when they find out that it's being done remotely that's even a sort of another layer of. <laughs> oh, here's somebody. Is he waving me on? Oh my gosh, he's waving me on. That's great. <laughs> the dog looks so scared. <laughs> when you started walking around, he noticed you. He's like, wait a minute. getting uh, upwards of 200 channels of information off of that robot. And it's everything from uh, battery temperatures, motor torques, we're getting all the cameras that are on the uh, robot. It's uh, LIDAR, it's 3D, 3D sensing. Um, we know it's speed, we know it's altitude, we know uh, the ambient temperature. Um, so anything that an engineer might want to observe about a robot that's uh, doing a mission, um, we've, we've got all that information coming in. While it looks like the whole thing was smooth sailing, the part that we didn't show you yet is that I had a bit of an accident off the top. I suggest you don't try this at home. All right. And I'm almost on the path. Now, if I turn the left joystick, I'm able to change. Careful, careful, Whoop. careful. Oh, 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 no, we tipped it over. I tipped it over already. I'm sorry, Spot. I can't believe I walked him into a bush. My first walk. It's all good. He's, he's sorry, right. Spot. I'm sorry, buddy. I love you. I'll treat you better. I'm sorry. <laughs> At least it wasn't a tree, right? Mm -hmm.